So I have two virtual machines here and the very first thing I'm going to do is to identify my IP address by typing in the following command ifconfig press enter and what you see is your IP right there so that's really the IP of your machine 192.168.76.75 so the next thing is to have your partner to ping that IP by pinging what I mean is somehow trying to talk to the virtual machine from another one to see if it's up and running so let's try it from another machine so I'm going to type in ping the IP which is 192.168.76.75 and then press enter and the pinging works so this means I don't really have any firewall blocking the pinging so what we're going to be doing is to block the pinging by adding a new firewall rule here and then I'm going to stop my pinging by pressing control C so to see the firewall rules the existing ones you just type in IP tables dash capital L and then we're going to be using this line numbers option dash dash line numbers and press enter and we'll throw an error at you because for you to be able to run any of these IP tables commands you have to be a super user or administrator so we have to make ourselves temporarily a super user by typing sudo in front of the command so type sudo the same command so in this case there is this ability to recall the commands previously entered on Linux so you just press the up arrow and the command shows up and you just type in sudo before the command we just typed in earlier and then press enter and it asks for your password all you have to do is type in the password in this case student if the password is not showing up when you're typing it that's uh, the way it's supposed to be on Linux anyway so don't worry about it and press enter and now you see the existing firewall rules there is actually nothing at the moment so we're going to be adding one rule which is actually about blocking the pinging from your firewall so let's try sudo IP tables and then dash capital A and A here means appending so you're appending a new rule to this uh, chain called uh, input which is responsible for dealing with all the incoming packets so what do you do with the incoming packets or ingress packets in this case whatever is using the protocol so that's what this dash p means protocol icmp because pinging is using the protocol icmp by indicating that we're going to be doing something about icmp protocol that is the same as doing something about the pinging and then you specify the action to be taken against that packet using the protocol ICMP protocol which is dash J J here refers to jump so jump in IP tables means simply taking an action against the packet so the action is actually dropping drop 
So that's pretty much the command we need to make it work. So press enter and let's check the file rules one more time. Press enter and as you can see now you have this new rule about ICMP. So we're dropping everything related to ICMP including pinging. Now let's try pinging again from another virtual machine. So I'm going to be using the up arrow again to recall the command. Press enter. And as you can see, the pinging is no longer working. So the file rule is actually working. Now let's try to change our file rule by issuing another IP tables command. In this case, going back to the virtual machine and we simply change the command here instead of saying drop now I'm going to say accept press enter and let's see what happens in the file rules and as you can see now you have two file rules one is dropping and one is accepting and from the other virtual machine the pinging is still not working because before you have a chance to accept the ICMP packets you have this rule ahead of that uh, accepting rule uh, you're actually dropping all the packets related to ICMP which is why the ICMP packets are still being dropped and the pinging is not working so in this case to make it work you wanna actually remove the rule that's dropping all the ICMP packets ahead of accepting it. So to delete a file rule we use another option D indicating deleting and then we simply use the line number of that file rule. So as you can see here the line number is 1 for the dropping rule. So I'm going to just delete these and say line number 1 and then issue the command by pressing enter. And as soon as I did that, you can see the pinging is now finally working again. So whatever we did actually worked. Let's check the file rules again. And as you can see that rule which was blocking the ICMP packets is now gone and which is why the pinging is now working again.